In this presentation, I will demonstrate to you how you could use Osirix along with Photoshop to simulate an operation. This is an overview and for more detailed uh, instructions, you need to seek out an expert in Osirix. Much of what I am going to demonstrate to you in this presentation comes from my learning of Osirex from Professor Philippi Pellerin, Professor of Plastic Surgery at University of Lille, France, at the ESPN course in Montpellier, which was held from 3rd to the 7th of June 2013. While most of the techniques are what I learned from Professor Pellerin, there are some differences, particularly regarding orientation. What Professor Pellerin does is far more detailed. Osirex is a software for viewing as well as manipulating DICOM images on your personal computer particularly Apple computers. It doesn't work on Windows. The fact that it allows you to work on your own personal computer is the strength of Osirix. Osirix allows you to manipulate CT scan images and MRI scan images in 2D as well as in 3D. However, when Photoshop is also combined, the degree of manipulation that you can achieve is vastly increased. This combination of Osirix and Photoshop allows you in effect to simulate operations, particularly in surgery for craniofacial abnormalities. Osirix is free to download from the web. Photoshop is from Adobe and it's an expensive software. Another flavor of Photoshop is called Photoshop Extended. It is very powerful. It allows importing of DICOM images and reconstruction of 3D images. However, it's very, very expensive. A more economical version of Photoshop is Photoshop Elements. I have not tried Photoshop Elements myself for this tutorial, but I am pretty sure that you should be able to use Photoshop Elements to complete the steps. But please check with the trial version. This tutorial takes you through a number of st steps. The steps include importing of the image into Osirix, orientating the image. This is adjusting the gantry using a plugin, 3D reconstruction, scaling the image. The scaling the image meaning you need to know what the scale of the image is. This is something that you can uh, achieve it yourself. Calculating the pixel per centimeter ratio, exporting the image as JPEG, importing the JPEG image into Photoshop, calibrating the Photoshop using the scale for the image that you obtained while you are working with Osirix. Uh, then uh, you have to simulate the operation that you are planning. In my um, demonstration I will uh, highlight or select the supraorbital ridge and then try to translate and rotate it. So these are the steps that I'm going to demonstrate in the rest of this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to import images into Osirix. Osirix imports DICOM images. If you go to File and then select your DICOM images and then click Import, it should import all those images.
In this step, we will view the images in the 2D viewer. To do that, you have to click this icon and now you can view it in 2D viewer. Sometimes when you try to do this, you will get an alert box saying that this free version of the Osirix is not licensed for clinical use and you just have to acknowledge it to proceed further. Once you come to this 2D viewer, you can see the slices by moving this slider. I have already selected the bone window and to correct for gantry you can go to plugin and on the image filters click on the gantry tilt correction to to add this uh, plugin you have to go to plugin manager and choose this plugin but once you have chosen it chosen it you can click on this gantry tilt correction so now the gantry tilt is corrected now just to show that um, uh, that you can view in axial sagittal and coronal planes you have to click on the 3d MPR and um, you'll get the images in the axial in the sagittal axial and coronal planes can move the slider but what we want is a 3d representation to do that you will uh, need to go back to your uh, um, 2d viewer and uh, select 3d volume rendering takes a few seconds now we have got the 3d volume rendering of the bones uh, you can make the quality to be fine by moving the slider when we have an image we need to know the scale with Osirix, we can draw a line which gives the dimension. However, when we export it to Photoshop, we need to have a scale so that when we manipulate in Photoshop, we know the length of the drawings that we are making. To do that, first of all, we need to draw a line. So this line is 13.68 centimeters um, in length. And now we need to see how many pixels are covering this length. For this, we will use the free ruler. So I will position the free ruler, ruler and then measure the pixels covering this length. So I've got 200, 292 pixels cover a line of 13.68 centimeters. Now let's calculate how many pixels are in a centimeter on this image. To do that, we put uh, 292 pixels divided by 13.68 so what does that give so one centimeter covers 21.345 pixels let's export this image to do that Go to File, 
and then export export to JPEG and we will export this one to our tutorial um, folder so 3d VR image export to JPEG that's done excellent let's now import the JPEG image into Photoshop so let's go to file import maybe open and the documents Osorex tutorial and um, there you go so we get that in good let's now set the scale for this image you recall that we calculated the pixel to centimeter ratio before we can key in that now here so let's go to pixel to centimeters and we said it was 21.345 so that's all set good excellent and uh, we will open the info box and this will give us the dimensions you can see it's um, this box that I'm drawing uh, it has a width of 4.3 centimeters and 28 point or 2.86 centimeters um, excellent you would have noticed that uh, the info box gave uh, the number actually in millimeters so to change it what you need to do it to is to go to Photoshop preferences units and uh, here in the rulers if you put centimeters then next time that you draw you see that uh, in fact it's now in centimeters so this is how you change the scale on Photoshop let's say that we select a portion of this skull and then move it move that selection that I mean by translate and rotation so I'll go and select the polygonal lasso tool then I identify my area of interest good and then uh, choose select and then I just move it and let's say that I just want to also rotate it I go to um, transform and uh, rotate and now I can uh, rotate it So, maybe this is not what you exactly wanted, but it shows what Photoshop can do, allow you to do, is to manipulate the image, and this way you can simulate or plan the operation that you are going to do and look at what the outcome is going to be. You can once again measure these lengths. Um, and um, uh, this allows you to think through your operation before you actually do it uh, this is uh, an overview that I have given you need to speak to someone who actually knows Osirix extremely well so they can tell you the advantages, the pitfalls um, the things to be careful when you are using in clinical setting uh, so this is just an overview uh, pl please appreciate for what it is I hope you have found this tutorial useful 
wishing you a good day thank you bye for now